Hi guys, how we doing? How we doing okay? Welcome to Tea Time Friday! Click. It's so good to see you guys. It's so good to... Actually, I don't see you, but it's so good to be here. Um, I hope you are okay. I hope you are doing well. How has the week treated you? Comment in the, in the down section, in the comment section. Put... Hmm. Guys, it's still all about fruits because it is heat. Eh? I don't even know why I'm wearing a jacket, but the heat is real. Anyway, let me pray. Father, I thank you for this beautiful moment. I thank you for this time that you have given us to share. Father, I pray that your spirit abides with us and it dwells with us. And may you use me, Father God, and may you impact someone today. May their lives be changed from the stories I'm gonna share and from my experiences in this name I pray. Amen. Guys, I have a special guest. You wanna count the guest in? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing my friend, guys. Joe doesn't have a name for this guitar, I'm sure, but now me have named it for Sarah. He needs to remember me by something, you know? I'm not with him for long. <laughs> wink wink. Anyway, guys, um, Today I decided to bring out this guitar because I want to sing a certain song. Um, the topic that I'm going to talk about, uh, my mom and I uh, spoke about it today. Guys, if anyone knows my mother or my parents, you know that my parents are full of wisdom and my mother has raised us. My parents have raised, raised us with, um, with, with the Holy Spirit and they have taught us to rely on him completely. This woman has inspired me. I will, this episode is dedicated to my mom. But the, I also do another one that is dedicated to my father. But this one is dedicated to my mom, and she loves this song so much. Um, I've learned a lot from her, and every time I pray to God, I'm like, God, I wish I can have wisdom. I pray to have wisdom as Sarah Bunjo or even Double has wisdom, because the way she has raised five children, you guys, eh? And they, the outcome is like this, you know, like that. That we still do fear God. Uh, I don't even know how that happened because we're in a very um, dangerous generation. Of course, I know all generations have been bad, but this one is special because eh, sometimes even me, I'm like, name but two for our generation is really doing the most. But um, I love my mother so much. I love my father so much. And I feel like they give us the best gift. And today, I'm just going to sing the song and then I'll share the scripture my mom and I talked about because that's what has inspired this episode. Uh, we're talking about the heart and just... She has taught us so much and I'll, I'll expand on that in the next episode what she has taught us and that the value and that the, the key thing in, in us being a Christian the best prayer that you can ever pray is to ask God to continue to instill his fear in you to continue to cleanse your heart to continue to uh, lead you to him for you to continue to seek him you know I mean, I'm still on a dad So all mothers out there, I have friends who are mothers, I have a few, I know people who are mothers, young mothers. The best gift that you can have is trusting the Holy Spirit and asking the Holy Spirit to lead you. If you want to know that school to take your child to, if you want to know the friend that should have, you guys, my mother has prayed for every single thing. Our schools, our friends, I have the best friends in the world. In all circles, I I, 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 I keep telling God that I don't know why, how how you love me so much to give me friends like the ones I have. I love you guys so much. And even my partner, everything. Um, God has really... Uh, use my mother to like just pray for God's will to be done in our lives and I love her so much and my father he's been a hero he's been a good father figure guys I'll get emotional this one is not for my dad the, my dad is the next one this one is for my mother and I'm gonna sing this song because she loves this song so much and then I'll share what um, her and I talked about we talk about so many things we were talking about so many things I was feeling a certain way and I talked to her about it and she shared and we, she gave me so many scriptures that lady is like a bible dictionary oh my god you guys if you know my mom anytime scripture ah, i think that is in Deuteronomy, and it's spot on you guys my parents are the best that i can ever anyone could ever ask for so this song goes out to them okay because she was emphasizing how it's important to ask god to cleanse you um, and that's where uh, we spoke about the song and I think it would be the perfect one for this episode. In the crushing, in the pressing, you are making new wine. In the song. 
all I Now I surrender You are breaking new ground So I yield to you and to your careful hand When I trust you I don't need to understand So make me a vessel Make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. God, I came here with nothing, but all that you have given me. Jesus, bring your wine out of me. Jesus, bring your wine out of me. Yeah, guys, I think because of time, I might have to stop here, but I want you to go on to give me some homework for the next time Friday. We're going to discuss this scripture, okay? I'm talking about you talk about the heart. It's in Ezekiel 36 26. It says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone away and give you a heart of flesh, guys. Me, I don't know about you. But I really want that heart that God is saying that he will give us. <laughs> because that heart is after the things he wants us to be after. That heart is forgiving. That heart is kind. That heart is generous. And we want, I want that. So I'm going to stop here for today. And I'm going to continue from there next week. Okay, next week. Please um, meditate on this scripture. Pray in this scripture. You can comment on what God has put on your heart after reading it in our next episode, okay? I love you guys. Be real. Peace and pray.